What is your name and your age? My name is Ida Lee, and my age is, well, I'm 91 years old. How old were you when you saw your first movie? When I saw my first movie, I was 14 and a half years old. How much did you pay for the ticket? I paid uh, for my ticket 15 or 20 cents. What was the theater like? The theater was just beautiful. When we walked in the door, we saw the great chandelier in the center and lights all around, but they were dim. Were there refreshments? And how much did they cost? And where did you sit? There were no refreshments in the theater. So we had to leave the theater to get them. And I'm so happy that it was quiet except for music. What do you remember about your first movie or what is the first movie that made a big impression on you? The first movie that I was impressed with I saw when I was 16. And I was 16 years old when I saw the most impressive movie I had ever seen. It was a long movie. And the name of it was The Tale of Two Cities. And it was very historic, and it took me into Europe that was so old and beautiful and different from what I knew. What do you remember about the star, or the story, or the costumes, or sets? I thought that the sets of the movie were splendid because they showed these lovely old, old, old fancy buildings. And I thought the most beautiful part was when the, ah, the screen started and uh, lit up with Fred Astaire and I just loved Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. I'd never seen music, heard music like it, and never seen dancing like it. What did you like about this movie? I liked that they showed me things that I never, never would have seen ever before. I, I didn't go to big cities anywhere, so it was exciting to see the big city signs. Why do you think it made an impression on you? Because I really think the impression came when I saw the beautiful, beautiful, old, old, old buildings that were so elegant. Did you go to the movies by yourself or with a friend or your family? I went to the movies mostly by myself. Did you go to the movies on the weekend, during the day, or at night? I went to the movies sometimes uh, in the night, but mostly I was on the weekends for the matinees because they were the cheapest. How many movies would you see a month? Oh, I'd be lucky to see one. One movie would be about it uh, for, the year, for the month. <laughs> what was your occupation and what do you do now? Well, back then I was working as a uh, a clerk in a five and ten cent store, the gourmets, actually gourmands. <laughs> and uh, now I'm uh, an actress and a writer, film actress, and this is a big deal for me to make it from the small community theaters into a film, and I love it. 
do you go to the movies now? What do you think of modern movies? What do I think of modern movies? I'm thinking uh, that they they have a lot of action that is just uh, out of this world. They're just really out of this world. They're just uh, oh, I I I shrimp. That's one that I think of as being outlandish. <laughs> We'd say in Texas, where I came from. Do you go to the movies now? I go to the movies, but not near as often as I'd like. Because I have trouble with my hearing, I don't go to the movies that often. What do you wish movies could be like? Is there anything you could change about movies uh, in the theater right now? I think I could change... Uh, the the movies I feel like that we have too much fictional movies uh, as I call the out of this world movies what about the theater um, can you re re repeat that again I would like to uh, know that I could always go into a theater and it's just elegant with a huge light and then lights around the sides. I like that. Is there anything you'd like to change about the theaters right now? I, I don't like to climb stairs anymore. <laughs> if they can make them without stairs. When you get to be 90, you start wondering if you're going to make it through the day. Then you're going to wonder if you'll ever see 91.